G'day YouTubers, I will preview round one of the 2024 AFL season. Before I start, it will be appreciated if you can subscribe to my channel. Please help me get to 1000 subscribers. Returning back to the show, firstly, I will give a summary of my tips for round zero. First game, I selected Melbourne to beat Sydney. Wrong. Second game, I selected Brisbane to beat Cowden. Incorrect. Bad start, not from two. And then, the last two games, I selected Gold Coast to beat Richmond. Woohoo! Correct. And finally, I selected GWS to beat Collingwood. Also correct. Overall, I selected two out of the four games correct for round zero. The first game of the week is Cowton versus Richmond at the MCG on Thursday the 14th of March. There are some players in the mix for this week. For Cowden, it is Motlop and Durden to be considered. For the Tigers, the gun trio of Dusty Martin, Lynch and Nan Curtis are to be considered for this game. Both teams have many injuries and very sad that Doherty did an ACL knee injury. The injured players for Cowton are Doherty, Walsh, Wiedering and Jack Martin, whereas the injured player for Richmond is Jack Graham. Cowton won their opening game on the road last week to Brisbane by one point, and Richmond lost last week to Gold Coast by 39 points where they conceded 11 consecutive goals. Where the game will be won. I selected Cowden's forward line as the key. I can't find any matchup for the twin towers of Harry McKay and Kono. My matchup is Gipkus on Kono. Gipkus playing in his third year of AFL and only 19 AFL games of experience will be against last year's common winner. Kono will be too strong and too quick and I would isolate him in the goal square with Gipkus. Kono could potentially kick six goals. Who do you put on McKay? Bolter will spend time in the forward line and in ruck, so you will have to go with the experienced undersized defender in Grimes. McKay has the agility to run up the ground and then spread to the offence when the Cowan midfields have possession. Final say, I tip Cowton to win. Cowden is in win now mode for the flag and Richmond's successful error is likely to end. The two lists are at different ends with Uze's task is to rebuild the list. For the second game, this is between Collingwood and Sydney at the MCG on Friday the 15th of March. There are some players in the mix for this week. For Collingwood, Howe is likely to be selected and Frampton to be considered. For the Swans, in the mix is Peter Laddams if they want to play an extra toll at the MCG. Collingwood has Daniel McStay on the long-term injury list. The Swans have Mills, Parker and Taylor injured. Taylor won't be able to play against his old side. Collingwood lost their opening game on the road last week to GWS by 32 points and Sydney won their home game last week against Melbourne by 22 points where they kicked 5 goals to 2 in the last quarter. Where the game will be won, I selected Collingwood's midfield as the key. Sydney losing Parker, Mills and Taylor in the midfield to injuries will hurt. The players of Cameron, Nick Dacos, Mitchell, Dugowie 
and Pendleberry against Grundy, Jordan, Rowbottom, Chad Warner and Golden. The midfield of Collingwood are first class and oozes with quality and I expect them to beat Sydney's midfield. I tip Collingwood to win. I expect them to win on a Friday night at home and their first home game since the grand final and they have been under the pump in the media all this week. I expect the Magpies to come out hard this week. The next game is between Essendon and Hawthorne at the MCG on Saturday the 16th of March. There are plenty of new faces for both sides in the mix for round one. For Essendon, it will be Harry McKay, who was signed as a free agent from North Melbourne. Gresham, also signed as a free agent from St Kilda. Xavier Dersma, recruited from Port Adelaide by a trade. And Todd Goldstein, signed as a free agent from North Melbourne. For Hawthorne, it will be the return of Jack Gunston from the Brisbane Lions after one season. Genuin recruited from Collingwood from a trade after winning his premiership. And the highly rated small forward Nick Watson, known as the Wizard, taken with pick five in last year's draft. Both teams have injured players. Essendon are missing Jordan Ridley and Shield. Hawthorne has plenty of injured players in Belunk, who did an ACL, Granger Barras, upcoming superstar in Will Day, and, I won't pronounce it, CJ. Both Essen and Hawthorne lost their last preseason game to Geelong and the Western Bulldogs, respectively. We know one team will win this week, unless it is a draw. Where the game will be won, I selected Essendon's forwards to be the key. The Hawks has an undersized defence with an ACL knee injury to Blanc, also injuries to CJ and Granger Barras. How will the defenders of Sicily, Scrimshaw and Hardwick control the forwards of Wright, Langford and Stringer? If the Bombers dominate the midfield, I can see plenty of scoring opportunities for their forward line against an undersized Hawthorne defence. I tip Essen to win as Hawthorne will be missing those players I mentioned in the defence. The forwards of Essen will have a field day. The next game is GWS versus North Melbourne in Sydney on Saturday the 16th of March. For the Giants, I expect the one change of the injured ward out. Players in the mix are Callahan and Perryman. There will be plenty of new faces for North Melbourne. Dylan Stevens, who was recruited from Sydney, Zach Fisher from Cowden, and the two high end talent draftees in Kobe McCurcher, who was taken. Pick number two in the 2023 draft and Zane Dersma who was taken at pick number four in last year's draft. Both players have injured players. For the Giants, Ward injured his shoulder last week and the Kangaroos are missing Logue and Simpkin out with concussion as we know why due to a certain bump. The Giants beat the Premiers in Collingwood in round zero last week and North Melbourne lost to the Saints in their last pre-season games. Where the game will be won, I selected the Giants midfield to be too strong for the young North Melbourne midfielders. If you look at the matchup of Briggs, Tom Green, Kelly, Whitfield and Cogniglio against Exari, Davies, Yuniaki, Stevens, Bailey Scott and Will Phillips, it is a class difference between the two and I expect the Giants forwards to have a field day. I tip the Giants to win easily by over 40 points and their forwards 
of Hogan and Brown to kick over three goals each. The next game is between Geelong and St Kilda at Geelong on Saturday the 16th of March. There are no new faces for Geelong as Geelong were inactive in last season's trade period. There are plenty of new faces in the mix for St Kilda. The new faces are Riley Bonner, who was recruited from Port Adelaide, Liam Henry, who was traded from Fremantle, and the speedy wingman Darcy Wilson, who was taken with pick 18 in the 2023 draft. Both teams have injured players, but St Kilda have a longer injury list. The Cats will be missing Cam Guffrey. The outs for the Saints are Dan Butler, Howard, Patton, Clark, New Cowden recruit of Paddy Dow, and Webster, who is suspended. Both Geelong and St Kilda won their last pre-season game to Essendon and North Melbourne, respectively. But we know one team will win unless it is a draw. Where the game will be won. I selected Geelong's forwards to be the key. The Saints has many hours fence missing, with Dougal Howard and Webster missing. How will the defenders of Wilkie, Battle and Wanganee Miller control the forwards of Hawkins, Cameron and Stengel? If the Cats dominate the midfield, I can see plenty of scoring opportunities for their forward line against a makeshift Saints defence. I tip the Cats to win with the class in the forward line and they rarely lose at home in Geelong. The next game is between Gold Coast and Adelaide Crows at Gold Coast on Saturday the 16th of March. There are no new faces for Gold Coast and I expect them to go unchanged. For the Crows in the mix are either Galan or Chris Burgess against his old side to replace the injured Phil Forbes and either Borlase or Keane to partner Butts in defence. Both teams have injured players, but the Crows have a longer list. The Suns will be missing academy graduate in Jed Walter. The outs for the Crows are Murray, ACL knee injury, Schomburg, Sloan and Phil Forbes. Gold Coast beat Richmond in round zero last week and the Crows beat the Eagles in their last preseason game. Where the game will be won, I selected Gold Coast forwards to be the key. The Crows have many defenders missing of Murray and potentially Keane as well. How will the defenders of Butts, Keane or Borlase and Michelangelo go against the forwards of Lacocious, King and Rosas Jr.? Last year, Lacocious kicked five on the Crows. If the Suns can dominate the midfield, I see plenty of scoring opportunities for their forward lines against the inexperienced Crows defence. I tip the Suns to win. The Crows defence will be unable to stop the Suns forwards. The next game is between Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs on Sunday the 17th of March. For Melbourne, Pickett is a certain return from his suspension and Petty is in the mix. There are a number of new faces for the Bulldogs to be selected in young high-end talent Riley Sanders, who was taken with pick six in last year's draft, Caulfield, recruited from St Kilda in the trade period, Harms, recruited from Melbourne, and ex hawthorne player in Bramble. Both teams have injured players. The Demons will be missing Bowie, Brown and Melsham. The Dogs will be missing Bailey Smith to an ACL knee injury and McRae has been omitted. Melbourne lost to Sydney in round zero last week and the Bulldogs beat the Hawks in the last pre-season game. Where the game will be won. The midfield will be the key. Both sides have top-end Ruck and midfields in Gorn, Oliver, Winey, Petraka and Sparrow for the Demons 
The dogs have the class of English Pontepelli, Trelaw, Libertore, and Harms. Whoever wins the midfield will win the game. I say the Demons midfield just, and they will also add Pickett to their centre bounce rotation. This will be a close game, and I tip the Demons to win just. The next game is between Port Adelaide and West Coast in Adelaide on Sunday, the 17th. Of March, there will be plenty of players in the mix for both teams. For poor, I expect Richmond recruit Soldo to be their number one ruckman. Ratu Golia recruited from Geelong and Zer Fatchard recruited from Essen to both bolster their defence. For the Eagles in the mix are highly rated number one pick in 2023, Harley Reid and Hawthorn recruit. Of Brockman. Liam Ryan may be available after being injured in pre season. Players missing for Paul are or is Giugiardis, and for West Coast, they are missing Flynn and Jewett. Poor Adelaide beat Fremantle, and West Coast lost to Adelaide in their last pre season games, respectively. Where the game will be won, I selected the power midfielders to be too strong for the Eagles midfielders. There are some inexperience in the Eagles midfield. If you look at the matchup of Soldo, Butters, Rosie, Wines and Horn Francis against West Coast Ruck midfield of Williams, Gimby, Kelly, Sheed and Gaff, it's a class difference between the two. I expect Port Adelaide's forwards to have a field day. Dixon and Rioli to kick a bag. I tip the power to win easily by over 40 points and their forwards will have so many scoring shots. The final game of the week is between Fremantle and Brisbane on Sunday the 17th of March. There are no new players in the mix for Fremantle. For the Brisbane Lions, it will be McKenna to replace the injured Coleman. Players missing are Sean Darcy and Josh Colbert for Fremantle. For Brisbane Lions, they are missing three players to knee injuries in Coleman, Dode and Ashcroft. Where the game will be won, I selected the Lions midfielders to be too strong for the merging young Fremantle midfielders. For Fremantle, there is no Darcy, so Luke Jackson has to be the full-time ruckman for this game. Young has been trialled as a midfielder with the trio of Sarong, Brayshaw and Johnson. Brisbane's ruck midfield setup of McInerney, McCluggage, Neil, Dunkley and Jared Berry are all experienced elite AFL players. Therefore, I tip the Lions to win with so many class in midfield and Fremantle's forward line are a young core that will go against elite defenders in Andrews and Payne. In summary, my tips for round one are Cowden to beat Richmond, Collingwood to beat Sydney, Melbourne to beat the Western Bulldogs, Essendon to beat Hawthorne, the Giants to beat North Melbourne, Geelong to beat the Saints, Gold Coast to beat the Crows, the Power to beat West Coast, and Brisbane to beat Fremantle. That is my tip for this week. Good luck with all your tips this weekend. That's the end and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button and comment on my channel. Every subscriber will be appreciated.